I would definitely recommend you coming up here and taking in the view. So behind the temple, they have a little place selling souvenirs. Grabbed a dessert. It looks like um, the the Calcrip Wild Sesame dessert that I showed you in in the Rayong video. But this one is a little different. They call it Cal Cab. So it's very similar to a rice cracker. It's not seasoned much. I think maybe a little bit of sugar. So it's kind of faintly sweet. Yeah. Simple, simple local snack. And a very interesting temple. Wat Nong Bua is what it's called. They've got art from the Tai Lu people, which is similar to Wat Pumarin that we were in yesterday, right next to the night market. So it's believed that the the artist that did the murals on the wall here is actually the same artist and that both temples are the same age. They can only guess that based on some of the characteristics of the mural itself. So there are some features in it like like um, the way the chicken is the chicken is painted and everything that you see that you see some similarities between um, between both places and the, the the way it tells the story of what happened in this in this area is is quite interesting. We're now at a Tyler Cafe that's uh, maybe 30 kilometers from where we were originally. It's an interesting place, almost like an interactive cafe. The drinks are so-so, but the the experience is pretty awesome because they've kind of opened it up to uh, the backyard and their backyard happens to be, well, in the immediate backyard happens to be a rice field where you can see like buffalo, they have some goats here, they have some um, white and purple flowers that happen to, that are in bloom at the moment. And then their far backyard, way back there, is Puka National Park. And Puka National Park is where it's one of the is one of the famous national parks that this region of Nan is 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 well known for. And it also has some in some species that you can't find in many other places, both both plants and animals. So people will go there, especially looking for the ancient palm trees and a flower called uh, Champu Puka, which is um, a pink flower that's usually in bloom. And that kind of um, adds a lot of color to the scenery in the background here. So we are far outside of Nan at the moment but it's a it's a beautiful area i would encourage you if you have the transportation to try to make your way out here it's just for the experience and yeah just watch watch the animals or look at the mountains in the background and that makes this place really pretty special Lunch was actually pretty tasty. I think average, maybe central food, and a little less exciting because we're traveling in a group, so we didn't get all the spice and things that you would normally have. And some of those soups, like the tom yum, there is a lot of fish on the menu, so that was interesting. So, anyway, 
Uh, lunch was okay, we finished that, and now we are in a silver factory and shop. So there's beautiful silver all around, all sorts of stuff, not just jewelry, but also even some um, clothing and belts and all sorts of silver bikinis and everything that they have here to kind of show off their, their craftsmanship. And then they also let us take a look behind the scenes in the actual silver factory where there looks to be nearly a hundred people working here doing all different types of smithing and uh, firing and proofing all of the silver that has to happen before it can become, become jewelry. So I'll let you take a look at that. That should be pretty interesting and you can see a little bit of what, what this place is like. I think this is our last touristy stop of the day. Next up, we'll be heading to the border area where we'll uh, do Thai immigration. I've had a couple issues with that already because of my, my visa stuff, but working on that. And then uh, we'll head to stay in that area before getting on the boat tomorrow. Maybe get a little bit of work done before carrying on with the rest of the day.